Hey folks, uh, it's a psychotic comedian for my 45th show. I think I got some pretty good stuff today and uh, also a song, a duet. So I want to try maybe do a male voice and a female voice today. So that's going to be a challenge. But anywho, let's uh, get this uh, boat away from the dock and let's go and do. First bit, um, Today's Friday, so typical Friday night for yours truly is uh, I'm in bed by 8 at home at 11. Oof. Okay. Um, let's see. Do you know how to get your favorite female porn star's attention? You make a scene. How about that? Well, my uncle Jeremy, Ronnie, he's uh, he did an interview on a British uh, radio show, and it was called the Kyle and Jackie O Show. Um, Kyle Tarani, tally ho, old boy! What's that you got in your in your hand there, old boy? Well, Kyle, that's my penis. Uh, Kyle and Jackie, this has been my ticket to fortune and fame. Kyle Tarani, golly gee, old boy! I thought that's a big old. Looks like a big old squishy slinky you got there, Ronnie. Um, now what are you doing, Ronnie? Well, I am. I'm sucking myself off, Jackie to Ronnie. Well, it looks like you can't go all the way down on your penis anymore, Ronnie. Well, Jackie, I've gained some weight over the years. Yeah, you gained a lot of weight. I've gained some weight over the years, and uh, I can't go all the way down. Still very impressive, Ronnie. Let me spread these legs out and you can put that piece of meat in my pussy. Kyle, tally-ho, old boy. Well, thank you for being on my show today, Ronnie. And, uh, and, uh, and, oh, yeah, oh. That Jackie, yeah. What, oh, Kyle says thanks for being on the show and uh, you can come back next time. Oh, okay, whatever. So that was my Uncle Jeremy's interview he did on uh, British Radio Station. How about that one? Here's some strange names for women. Brenda Balls, Susie Cox, Carla Clipman, Mandy Muffin, and I think I got one more on that. Uh, we just leave it at that. Um, well, UPTV, I was at the coffee. I go to a coffee shop quite often. Um, I used to go one down one downtown Champaign. I don't go there anymore. But I go to one um, on campus, and it was 11 o'clock at night, and I saw this Asian chick over there sitting. She looked lonely, so I went up to her and said, "Hey, um, how you doing? My name's Paul. You know." Uh, got the conversation going, what's your uh, nationality, I asked her. She said, well, she's like 80% Asian and 20% Chinese. I said, would you like 100% American in you? <laughs> she goes, what do you mean? I said, my wang and your vag. She said, oh, well, I already got that covered. Then she pulled out her satchel and pulled out this 30-inch rubber dildo with like purple flesh tones on it. It's called a destroyer, 30 inches, UPTV. How about that? And she goes, uh, what does she go? She goes, well, you, uh, you want to, uh, you got actually activated. And the damn thing kicked over two laptops, knocked over two patrons. And she said, you want to come back to my place and I can show you how it works? She said, I go, uh, yeah, you tired too, and I do. So anyway, we went back to her place. And she got it out, and she went, uh, hi-ho purple away, you know, and it was gone. And she, you know, like, long, she did it Lone Ranger style. It goes, hi-ho silver away, like the hi-ho purple away. Ain't that amazing? Back in high school, I was dating this girl named uh, Nikki. And we went out for about two years, uh, dated for two years, and uh, we broke up. Well, there was an odd moment in math class. 
Mr. Jones came up to me and said, well, Paul, I hear, he's my math teacher, I hear that you're not dating Amanda anymore or Nikki anymore. And he says, well, this is kind of hard for me to ask. He goes, well, do you care if I go out with Nikki? I said, yeah, whatever. Then I was looking at after class and Nikki was riding shotgun in uh, Mr. Jones' Testarossa and they was waving at me. <laughs> whatever. Let's see. Here's free associations of a Tourette syndrome. Dickhead, bitch, asshole, asinine, fuckhead, tennis, ham sandwich, car, rental, boat. How about that? Let's see. I think that's all the bits. Try to get a song in today. Okay, this, this is a, a you know, uh, my old buddy Kip Winger. This is a duet between, in the 80s, Kip Winger and uh, Fiona. It's called Your Sex and Me. So here it goes. Your Sex and Me. <laughs> You take it slow, I keep hanging on. You tease me. You got me begging out of control. You make love look so easy. I can't breathe at night. Can't stay getting closer and you're in my blood. Come on closer, be my lover. Cause it's understood. Ooh, you're sexing me. Baby gonna get ya, you're sexing me. I can't run, I can't hide. You follow me from the inside. Rock of ages, a heart built for one. All comes down in a landslide to the river cause I'm drowning. Cause you're in my blood. Like it's Cinderella, it's now or never. So feel the heat, ooh, you're sexing me. Baby, everything you do just turns me on. Ooh, you're sexing me. Darkness, darkness, all around me. Feel the fever cause you're in my blood. Come on closer, it's now or never. Cause it's now or never. Ooh, you're sexing me. Everything you do just turns me on. Ooh, you're sexing me. Baby, 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 come on. I missed some verses on that, that's okay. Um, that's uh, my song of material today. That's my 45th uh, comedy show. I'd like to thank Kaleeb as always and Jason, uh, Jason Leggett, and also Jake Shoemaker. And thank you, the viewing audience. And uh, this is the, uh, you know it, psychotic comedian bidding you adieu.